Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of RPG Maker MV. It is time for us to put some citizens in this town. Mmm. Alright, so I am going to try and do this without looking anything up to see if we can just apply. I don't know why I still have this recording window open. Uh, to see if we can just go ahead and apply what we have learned so far to the town to get some citizens walking around town. Um, I want them to say stuff when we talk to them. You know, the normal the normal type of thing. First thing is, we don't have a, a sign here. I, I want us to put in a sign. I was just thinking about this. Let's put a signpost right here inside of town. And I want to go ahead and I want to add an event on this signpost right here. And I was just thinking that there should probably be a signpost here that says the port town of Deacon. Just so that our character can walk into this and can um, can see what town we're in. Because if you don't know what town you're in, I mean, that's not very helpful, is it? Let's do a save. Let's just double check our work. It's been taking a while to load recently. The, the game has gotten big enough that it takes a moment to load. There we go. The port town of Deacon. All right, so we know where we are now, which is great. So, we need some people to wander around town. And they don't need to do much. Um, they don't need to say a lot of plot-critical stuff. Maybe we'll have them... One of them will say something like... Uh, you know, something about the guy in the manor here that will lead our character to want to come into the manor. So... Let's look at what we need to do to add these people in. So, what we should be able to do is these all should just be events. And we shouldn't have to do a lot of heavy scripting like we had before because we're not moving a bunch of characters around in a very defined way. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to make a new event. And we're going to call this Citizen 1. Alright. And I think Citizen 1... Well, we need to choose an actor for Citizen 1 here. Or what, not an actor. That These are what they have set for some of the pre-made people. This one's got wings. Um, we need some people walking around. Where's our people here? So we haven't used... We haven't used this... Uh, we've used most of those people. We're running out of people. These are some royal people. These are some weird looking people. There's our kids. And there's the tile sets. I don't know why we would want to... Oh, you could use the tile as an event. That's right. I think I've noticed that before. Oh, I have an idea for these. This is going to be great. Okay. Anyways. We need to set an event here. Let's just grab somebody who looks okay. Someone in the People 2 section. How about this guy? This, oh, uh, this girl right here. We'll choose her. Okay, she's people too. And her autonomous movement. I'm going to set her to random. Okay, and I want her to move... Eh, we want her to move kind of slow. And we want her to move randomly and normal. She's going to be same as character. She's going to use her walking animation... And when we talk to her, we'll have an action button. And I want her to say, uh, she'll say, uh, let's get her face on here first. She's in people too. She's this, do we really want to use this lady? Yeah, we will. That's, that's fine. I mean, ah, these people four aren't too bad. We might use some of them. Again, we just don't want to spend forever creating new people. We'll use this lady here this elf belly dancer and she's gonna say uh, let's see the mayor once was a great 
hero during the War of Tears. Oh, how about instead of once? Was a great hero during the War of Tears. I don't know why I wrote where. During the War of Tears before he moved here. There we go. Kind of points the player towards the the big manor. Because obviously the mayor lives in the biggest house. We'll hit OK. We'll hit Apply. And we'll hit OK. So let's see if this works. Uh, I'm guessing this will give us a random character who will walk in different directions. And then when we talk to her, she'll say that. Let's check it out. Okay, she's walking. She's still walking down. She can't move anymore. So, she only wa appears to walk... Oh! She walked right. Is she going to walk in a different direction? Oh, she went left. Now she's just going left. Is she going to go left until she hits a tree? No, she went down. Okay. The mayor was a great hero during the War of Tears before he moved here. Alright, so she's going to wander around, which is fine. We'll let her go a-wandering. That looks good to me. So we've got one citizen who can walk around. Uh, why don't we... You know what? I'm going to put another guy uh, right here. Uh, we'll put a dude standing right here. I just thought of this. Uh, people one. Same guy right here. We don't want him to move. Same as character. Third man is his name. And uh, I want him to show text and say, Can you believe that both of my... Yeah, okay. Uh, people one. There he is. Can you believe that both of my brothers still live and work in this same town? And now it'll make sense when we see the same guy's face multiple times through when we're walking around. So that's cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We need just a couple more people. I feel like there should be someone out here. Uh, new. Uh, we'll call this Beggar. And we should have a poor guy somewhere in town, you know? Is there a poor person? Someone who looks poor? This little kid looks poor. We'll put him over here. People one, bottom. Fixed. We don't want him to move around. Same as character. Let's give him some text. Get his face here. People one, this little kid. I wish I had... enough gold coins gold coins to buy a potion to buy a potion then I, I don't know why I called him beggar I just changed my mind halfway through then I would go hunt down the slavers because I would be invincible. Alright. Uh, we should probably put just a few more. I think maybe one more random person walking around town. One more random walker. How's that sound? New event. Uh, Citizen 2. Citizen 2, we'll use one of these. Uh, we'll use this guy right here. And again, I want random. Frequency normal. 
That looks good. I don't know what this route thing is. Custom. Oh, and then you could set him in his pattern. Okay. Hmm. I'm afraid that any pattern I did would not look random enough. It would be too difficult. So random will work. For now. We might change, come back and change that, actually. But he's going to show text. And this gentleman, he was part of Face Set 4. Or People 4, right? Uh, actor People. People 4. It was this guy. I want him to say... I left the Eastern Islands because I hated the slave trade there. There we go. So now we've got this gentleman. Actually, let's do this. Let's that random route, she just kind of went randomly, of course. Let's fix his route. I mean, sorry, let's give him a custom route. Let's give his route right here. But we're going to need to move this out of the way so we can see him. So here's what he's going to do. He's going to move down, then he's going to turn right, then he's going to move right, 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 right. Then he's going to move right one more time. Then he's going to turn down. Then he's going to move down, down. Then he's going to turn right. He's going to move right. Then he's going to turn up. Nope. He's going to turn up. And he's going to move up, up. So that should put him down, down, up, up, right here. We can move him up one more time. Then he's going to turn left. Then he's going to move left 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 then turn down left left turn down move down turn left moved left left move left left turn up move up turn left turn move left left and then turn down Okay, repeat his movements. I don't want him to skip anything. All right. So we've got him there. We got him moving around. Let's apply this. Let's put Grug up here. And let's see what happens with this this character. So he goes down. Then he kind of wanders along. Goes down a bit. Wanders this way. Then he should go down. Okay, his last command moves him one too many to the left. So, edit. His route. One too many to the left. Okay. And... Okay. So, when we reset him here... There he goes. Again, you're not going to be... You're not going to be hanging out next to this guy for very long. You're going to come over and talk to him. I just want him to have some movement. And then we're going to test what happens when we interrupt his pattern. So far it looks good. Did I not save that?
move left. Okay. I don't know why he's moving one more left. Unless it doesn't reset until uh, something drastically different happens. But we'll let him do his little walk. We'll leave her on random and we'll just see what that looks like overall. So, we've got these people all set up. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up some people in here. Inside the manor. It's the last place we don't have any people. And I think what we need in here is again we need our guy who is our buddy who is now uh, that's the story in my head by the way if I haven't mentioned it is the guy who owns the manor who's in charge the mayor of the port town um, he was our friend in the war and that's why this is all here so I want us to put in our buddy here and this is gonna be <clears throat> Um, Lord? I don't have a name for him yet. We'll come up with that in a bit. Uh, and let's make him... What does he look like? Let's use one of these guys. Over here. Maybe. Now... Yeah, let's use one of these, I guess. Uh, no hats. Hats are for villains. Actor 2, what's that face look like? We'll use that. Okay, that works. So, we're going to use Actor 2 for this. And he's going to be sitting here looking up. There we go. So there's our, our guy who is the old commander that we used to work under. There we go, that's the story. He's the commander that we used to work under. And we're going to add another person here. And this person is going to be important. Uh, this person needs a name. We have Grug. And we're going to have... somebody from the movie... Shinobi. Uh, let's see. What was the name of the female character in this? Uh, Gnosuke was the guy from the Iga clan, I think. Who was the woman from the Koga clan? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go see Shinobi, Heart Under Blade, Love is War. Um, it's a classic movie. There's also a, a an anime called Basilisk. Uh, if you've ever watched uh, Naruto, uh, his the idea of ninjas with these inherited powers all comes from this same set of stories. And I believe the original book, which I haven't read yet, but I want to, is called The Kogan Ninja Scrolls. Is the book that was written in the 50s, which kind of laid out the whole story that all these are based on. I cannot find her name. So... Uh, we are going to have to use somebody different. Unfortunately, we can, I just don't find a name there. Uh, why do I not have anything nearby? <coughs> Pardon me, folks. Uh, Jax. There we go. We'll, we'll kind of mess up the name from Riddick here. This will be Jax. That's the name of this. And Jax is going to be a new character. And the idea is, is that we're, our, our guy who was with us is not going to come along uh, for the ride. But we're going to pick up a second party character here. We're going to pick up his daughter, who is going to come with us. He's going to send along to get the experience. So we need to create our new character, uh, who is going to join us on our adventure. So, let's go into our character generator. He's a rather pale looking dude, so we'll want somebody also with kind of like that pale complexion. Uh, we don't want an orc, we don't want another a dark elf. Um, let's see us go until we get a female face that we can modify. That, that was scary. Vanessa. 
this looks okay. Uh, we just need to change a few things here. So the hair, we need to lighten up. So why don't we take the front hair uh, here, and we'll kind of get it that same. Is that his color? Kind of go a little bit darker, and the rear hair the same color. Uh, Grug's hair is not both the same color. That's why it looks weird from the back, I've realized, finally. Uh, we don't want a beard, of course. Ears, human, not, not orc or elf. These eyes, I don't like closed eyes. Let's get some open eyes. There we go. Eyebrows are fine. The nose is fine. We're not going to see it. I like this mask idea. Uh, we don't need any beast ears. We're not going to put a tail or wings. Do these clothes scream priestess to you or healer? No, not to me either. These, however, I like. The only problem is we got to get rid of this hat. There we go. Again, hats are for bad guys. But masks are for cool people, so she can keep the mask. Um, doesn't need to have glasses. I do like the flowing cloak. Uh, how about colors? Grug is in this... Uh, he's in kind of a darkish black and green like teal color which I kinda like uh, she has this bluish cape color I don't want her to mix and look too similar a lot of our bad guys we have wearing red or blue so why don't we try to get her away from that uh, what does oh that's kind of a cool sandy robe color I kinda like that this actually looks pretty good alright so I think this is Jax this, this feels like Jax. Now, the only problem is with a face mask here, Jax is kind of indiscrutable uh, for her looks. So it's hard to tell if she is angry or sad. We have to do that with the eyes only. So let's start with the face image for her. So first her face. We're going to export this. And this is Jack's face. That'll work. And let's change her eyes. That's really all that we can see. So maybe she's got... Yeah, this is really all we can do is some different eye shapes is about it. So let's import. And then let's export. And yes, we know we're yet. Yes, we know we're overwriting. And then let's get some different eyes like that. Import her face, and then export. I didn't really think too much about the mask doing this to us, making our lives so difficult. Uh, import. Export. How many eyes are there? Okay, we'll do the closed eyes. That'll work. Oh, there's crying eyes? Oh, man. We could have given Grug some crying eyes. It's okay. Grug doesn't cry. He's a tough guy. Uh, import and export. Let's give her some crying eyes, though, in case we need them. Not that she's going to cry and Grug can't. Just so we have them. Uh, stay away from that randomize button, Grug. Come on, you've messed up enough. Uh, big eyes, like, oh my goodness, eyeballs. And then angry eyeballs. And that should... Finish out everything that we need as far as her facial expressions go. Yeah, there, angry face. Alright, so we've got all her face. Let's get her other stuff. So we need to export Jack's walk. We need to export Jack's damage. And finally, her battle poses. So export Jack's battle. Cool. So that's everything we need for Jax. That works out well. 
So let's edit this. Uh, Jax is going to use Jax walk animation. It's her looking up. Apply. Okay. Oh, look, even our, their capes, her cape is almost the color of her father. So it's like it, it was serendipitous how this worked out. So we're going to have these two over here. And on this side, we're going to have, um, do we want to have anybody over here? No, we'll just leave this empty. We don't need a bunch of random people walking around this manor. No, we're good. All right, so we have Jax, and we have her father, whose name is not... It's Leroy. Done. This is Leroy. So we've got Leroy, and we have Jax set up, ready to go. So we need to talk about scripting this next event, and that's going to be the next thing that happens. So here's my idea, is that Grug comes in, we'll make a butler character here. Grug's going to walk in this door, he's going to be greeted by the butler, who's going to say, Oh, hello sir, are you here to see Lord Leroy? And, and Grug will be like, yes, Lord Leroy. So he'll get led around here, and then he's going to talk to Lord, Lord Leroy will, be, will go, Grug, you're still alive? <clears throat> I haven't seen you since the war. And then we'll have Grugtar say something like, Oh, Commander, what are you doing here? The Commander will say, After the war, I took all my money and I got into ships. And uh, with the money from that, I eventually became mayor of this town. And then we'll have Grug say, um, Leroy, Billy, my son, has been kidnapped by slavers. I'm trying to find him. Can you help me? I think he's gone across the sea. And we'll have Leroy go, Grug, you know that I would never leave a fellow soldier on the battlefield. But I need something before I can just give you a ship to cross the sea. I need you to travel south to Slaver's Cave. It's a great name for a cave. Why not? I need you to travel south to Slaver's Cave and destroy the slaver scum on our continent or and destroy the slaver scum there once and for all, so that no one else ever suffers from your tragedy. If you do this, I can convince the merchants of the town to give you a ship. Will you do this for me, Grug? And Grug will be like, Leroy, I'll do whatever it takes to get my son Billy back. And Leroy will say, good. I want you to also take my daughter, Jax, with you. She's become well-skilled in holy magic, but has not had a chance to practice her art in the field. She could use the experience, and then maybe one day she'll be good enough to take over for me as mayor of this town. Or some dialogue will come up that's better than that. And Grug will say, sure thing, and then she'll join. And uh, I don't think she'll talk. Maybe she'll just use her her eyeballs and an ellipsis and we'll never hear her say a word until the end of the game that would be silly but that's what we might do so that's a general layout of the scene that we're going to script a uh, script if you remember previously uh, it took quite a few episodes to get this all scripted out maybe it won't take us as long since we've practiced and we know what we're doing but that's where we're going to be heading now so we're going to end this episode right here, and when we come back, now that we have these, these couple citizens to wander around the town, and we've seen how to do that, when we come back, we will jump into setting up the big meeting between Grug and Leroy, his old commander, and Leroy's daughter. So folks, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Hopefully you're enjoying the RPG Maker series. Um... Again, by the end of this, we will have a complete game. You'll know what's in it if you watch all the videos, or you may even play the game before you watch the whole thing, and uh, then you can see how it was made. It's up to you. I am really enjoying myself making this. So, thanks for watching me. Please tell your friends, like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Very much appreciated. And as always, we hope to see you soon.